This is my week as a guest creator at Fan Expo Toronto. A guest creator is when you're invited to sit along the fancy tables with all the other pro comic book creators. Guest creators are advertised on Fan Expo's website. Usually they're doing panels and stuff like that. It's, it's an honor to be a guest creator. So my Fan Expo week started a week early. They flew me out so I could see my friends and family, which I was very excited for. You know, a fire of our flight doesn't feel so bad, but when you're actually on it without um, like a TV, it's it sucks. Anyway, so here I am hanging out with my friends. I'm eating real good food for a few days before Fan Expo starts. I'm staying at my friend Harmony's house, and luckily she and her partner have a real good eye for food. They're good foodies and I've been eating so well before Fan Expo, but once I actually get to Fan Expo, trust me. So while she's working from home, I'm hanging out and reading. She took me to her bouldering gym. I am not very good at bouldering. I have no upper body strength. Her knee was monkeying up these walls, but I finally got up one of the roots and I am very proud of myself. I think I did the roots two times just to prove that I can. And that's basically all I did for a few days before Fan Expo. I ate really good food. I went to cafes, I read my book, and I just enjoyed some relaxing time with my friends. But relaxing times don't last forever, and then we finally had to go to the hotel that Fan Expo put me up in. It was a really nice hotel, it was the Marriott. Wow! Distillery. First thing we did is obviously go to the pool. We just went through three elevators to go to the pool. We're one bathing suit bottom short. So we're gonna go up and hope that we brought two. <laughs> it is day one of Fan Expo and last night there was an alarm blazing in the hallway because someone was stuck in the elevator. Today, this morning, I just called reception and I asked for free breakfast for the inconvenience and they said sure. So here's to always calling and inquiring, squeeze something out of a hotel. Time to get breakfast. I'm out and I'm gonna pick up some change from the bank and see what Harmony works. I am loaded with snacks. So I found my table and it's time to start setting it up. I've never tabled as a guest anywhere like this. So this is my first time setting it up in this fashion. Usually I have like all these grids as the rest of the exhibitors have in the artist alley. So I had to buy all these fancy little wooden holders and try to figure out how I was going to arrange it. So this is my booth. I got my most popular prints and then my least popular one. I have some small ones. I have my big bangs at the front. I'm the original artist in two books. Art book in the middle, front and center. I have stickers right here and my exclusive Patreon prints that I don't sell anywhere else. And I'm worried that this might be a little busy, but we'll see how it works. I have my 5x7 minis along with another matching one and also hidden a print that I don't like so much, but we'll see if she goes. And that is my booth and I'm surprised I got that banner up. And then I found my friend Lauren's table. Wow, Lauren. Tell us about your table. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is my view. I was asked to do a cover of Harley Quinn for, for Fan Expo. Like they, it's like official. And I didn't bring anything to do, but money is money is money. And there's nothing to do today anyway, because no one's coming to visit. Hi. <laughs> so I'm hunting for tools from other people around me. Um, so far, I have one eraser. I'm looking for a pencil to start. Let's go to the green room and find a pencil. The first few hours felt really alienating. Like no one came up to me and I was like so hopeless and dramatic. I don't belong here. The guy next to me is selling like $20,000 commissions and there's just a bunch of old men surrounding this table at all times. I think that I'm in the fancy old man comic book section. Like I knew that from the beginning, but I don't know why I had hope. I don't know why I thought it'd be fine. Truly no need to panic. It was the first hour of VIP only old men come to buy expensive stuff. I made friends with the neighbors. 
Things really started to look up when I discovered the green room, which is the little room with a bunch of snacks for the guests. Literally stocking up and giving shit to my friends. I shouldn't have not worn a mask to run through with my delivery. The rest of the day was just waiting around and eating, basically. I'd work on my commission a little bit, and I'd eat a little bit more. Sometimes I'd sell a few things, which was always exciting. And my friend came to visit me and she sat with me for a little bit, which was nice. And sometimes people would come up and tell me how much of an inspiration I was, which was really crazy to hear. Basically just eating and sitting all day. My neighbor's a blast. And then it was five o'clock, time to pack up and get some real food. Cause I've been eating just like cold, you know, like sandwiches and stuff all day. Day one fan expo was pretty cool. It was pretty cool being in the guest area. I was really intimidated at first and I didn't think I belonged there because everybody's a comic creator and I'm not. But after the VIP section ended, which was very much just old men comic creators, then, you know, I started selling some stuff and it got pretty cool. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. But okay, good night. Day two, it's Friday, let's go. So it is day two, it's Friday, it's time to set up, get some breakfast in me, and get the day started. My friend joined me in the morning, so it was nice to have another pair of hands and also just someone to hang out with during the slow times. Um, today was a lot faster than Thursday. I was signing a lot of books and selling a lot of stuff. I was already starting to sell out of a few things. I only have a few of my zines left. And it was a lot more fast paced than the day before, which was very fun. Um, I was very much almost selling out of some stuff. I don't know if I didn't bring enough stuff. I didn't, you know, guess the demographic for this year. I was taking photos with some people who admire my art and I always keep the stickers when other creators give them to me. And I got another commission, you know, I told myself I wouldn't do commissions, but I sold out of my Asuka and spider Gwen prints. And I only have a handful of these Gotham City Girl Gangs left. I'm gonna have to think of something quick. Someone gave me a gay bracelet. It is the end of the day, time to file out. And I got some dinner with Lauren and her sister, which was awesome to eat warm food for the first time again. Get back to my hotel. Okay, day two, Friday, better than Thursday. Although for most of the day, it was pretty slow for me. And there was a lot of sitting around. And then it kind of picked up at the end and kind of evened out. So Friday was pretty good. I sold out a lot of stuff, so. I'm gonna try to scheme up a reprint with my friend Lauren, who's also reprinting. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, see you tomorrow. I was literally like awake all night because I was stressed of how we're gonna get these prints done because Lauren's um, printer stopped working. It never works when you want it to, but it's 8 a.m. and I'm talking to her now and we're gonna just print at Staples. It's Saturday and Lauren was up until 3 a.m. trying to do prints and she was up since like 7 trying to get the order through to Staples. So I'm gonna try to steal some fruit. Merchandise acquired. Starbucks secured. It's Saturday and everybody says today's the busiest, biggest day, so I'm really looking forward to it. I go and I get my companion, my next friend who's gonna sit with me for the day, and today was truly the biggest day. It was also the funnest day. I feel like I met so many Sheridan grads that came up to me, people who saw my short film, people who follow me on TikTok. It was just like, I didn't know that this many people knew me and knew my art. Because, you know, when you see a number on a screen, it's, it's not the same as knowing that individuals <laughs> like your work, you know? So it was awesome. I met so many people. And then Lauren successfully did the heist. We restocked on some of our prints at Staples. So I'm cutting some of the, you know, the prints out and I'm able to, you know, sell some more things that, you know, otherwise I would not be able to. Hi. I'm a current Sheridan animation. Oh, really? Yeah, cool. I just wanted to say hi because I've been like looking at your work since I've been trying to apply to get in. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. These are the last of the books. Ah! 
Last one. Fantastic, oh. great. Let me sign this for you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited that I got to see you. I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to find you. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad you did. Yeah, I'm, have a good one, guys. And then I was down to my last art book. I didn't want to sell it until the next day so I could hold it on display for a little bit. I sold a couple more things. Last hour orders were basically just sitting around and waiting. It dies down really quickly. And there's a lot of period of time where you're not doing anything. And then days over, getting some food. Okay, so day three of Fan Expo. It was more fun than Friday and Thursday. Thursday was felt pretty slow. I had a lot of fun. There was a lot of like Sheridan students, like past graduates and you know, people going into the program. And it was really cool because a lot of people were telling me how much like my graduate film like inspired them and stuff like that and how like they were looking up to me before they applied and that's why they applied to animation. Just like really crazy stories that I didn't know I had any type of impact like that. So it was really, really cool to hear. I saw the first, one of the first years that helped color my film. He came up to me and I was graduated, so time flies. Oh, I saw two of my old high school teachers. Did you go to this high school? And I was like, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, Drushko. It was the last day. And I'm gonna fly out. Back to DC. Side note, look how bad my rosacea is. Every day I've been wearing button-ups and like a weird linen overshirt because it's so cold but I didn't intend to wear it the whole time. So I look like a white woman in a cardigan. I said I'd sell it today and now it's up for sale. So first come, first get. This is my last one, bang bang. I did reprint of this. I only have a few of these left. Last book. Good thing I printed literally an infinite amount of these. So last day, some more stickers from more creators. Um, I got an interview done by somebody. I wonder if I'll ever see that. I don't know. <laughs> sold out of a couple more things here and there. In the end, I think I counted. I sold out of 11 products, which is really crazy. Okay, let me dollars. Oh, can I get your art books? Sure, that's the last one. Perfect. Let me sign that for you. Oh, please. He's getting my very last art book. The best one. <laughs> wow, what an honor. Yeah. <laughs> Arthur Adams just won my last art book. Ah! And then my friend Harmony came for the rest of the day to sit with me. I met a lot more people. I signed a lot more things. I, I don't know why people wanted me to sign things. I guess I'm a signer now. I'm a signature person. But a lot of the day was pretty slow and just me sitting around and although it looks like I'm always selling stuff and meeting people, that's just the clips that you're seeing. That's the power of editing. A lot of it is very much just sitting around and waiting for the rush to come. The green room had my favorite candy, Brookside, which was dope. Brookside, sponsor me please. Getting some more snacks, which is just junk food and that's what I'm surviving on. Checking out the rest of the Harley Quinn comic covers from the other Fan Expo creators, which was really cool to see. And at this point, our table is a huge mess, just full of like gross snacks and food and just eating basically for the rest of the day until people show up and claim my last prints here and there. Getting photos with some admirers, which is awesome. Um, our neighbors left and we stole their comfy chairs. Thank God for that. And at this point, I'm just selling the displays until there's nothing left on the table. The table ends up looking pretty spotty by the end of it, but that's kind of the goal. Oh, and some friends from high school came around. So that was crazy. You know when you don't see anyone for many years? Anyway, so we are nearing the day and I have to start packing up early because I have to catch my flight back to BC. So when these last people kind of leave, I'm starting to take my banner down and that's basically what my table looks like at the end of the day. It is full of snacks and big mess and there's not a lot of prints left to show. But that's great because I'm excited to have very light luggage on my way back home. So we run to the GO train and I miss the train by seconds. What I mean seconds, I mean seconds. And I'm a very stressful traveler, so this was not very fun. <laughs> but we make it onto the second train 
And I say goodbye to Harmony and she leaves with all of her crates. God bless her for lending me those crates. I make it to the airport. I am so stressed out I'm not gonna make it. Everything will be okay because the man checking my ID said he liked my outfit. I loved being a guest creator and I can't wait for the rest of my fan expos to be a guest and meeting other comic book creators and meeting people who admire my work. Thank you. So I am back from Fan Expo and I've had a couple days to re-energize and be alive again. And I restocked my website with everything that I was selling at Fan Expo. So I have all of this stuff out of the way. I can finally relax. And I have five huge boxes of my books and they're up on my site and finally don't have to be sold out anymore. Thank God I have an easy setup to my website and all my merch can upload really easily, very clean. And that's because I use Squarespace. You know the drill, you know Squarespace for a beautiful, clean website. You can use it for commerce and also your portfolio. I love having my portfolio super clean and very customizable. I also love the low fees and the commerce side of things. So selling my artwork on my shop is very easy peasy, low stress, and it looks exactly the way I want it to look. You can use my code drushko 10 for 10% off your Squarespace website. And I highly recommend for any really sleek, professional looking portfolio website. Check the link in the description and it'll send you right there and you can check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching my vlog. Thank you for coming out to Fan Expo if you did. I really appreciated it. It was such an incredible experience. And thanks so much. I'll see ya.